If I sound like death during this video, it's because I feel like death. My allergies are trying to kill me. Hey, hi, hello, my name is Alexis, and today is week two of Haul Month Long, where every week this month I'm hauling. So this week I only got clothes. Because you just need some clothes sometimes. And all of my clothes were bought at Burlington Coat Factory. The first thing I got is this mint green, um, I guess, muscle tank that has the cutest Minnie Mouse at the front. It's kind of like, I guess, OG Minnie. Because she has her little hat with the flower in it. And I feel like newer versions of her, she doesn't wear the little hat, she wears the bow instead. But I just thought this was so cute. And... It was very appropriate to wear to the park. <laughs> the next thing I got is this romper. It's just a black um, tank top kind of top with black shorts that have little white palm trees on them. Very appropriate for Florida. Um, but I just thought it was super cute and it fits me perfectly. And I'm just very excited to wear this, because I think it really is the cutest thing ever. The next thing I got is pretty boring, but they are some fitted workout shorts. They have this weird, like, liney pattern. I don't think the camera will pick it up, but it's got some weird line pattern on it. It's just gray. Um, I got these because we are driving to Florida. So I wanted to get some clothes that I could wear in the car and be comfortable and just comfort over style, you guys. <laughs> comfort over style. The last thing are these Marvel leggings. Holy shit, these are so great. I can't even believe how amazing these are. Um, these are very appropriate also because, as you may know, Marvel is now owned by Disney. Uh, so I saw these and I was like, I absolutely have to get these. And they have Captain America on them. And he's my absolute favorite. He is Bay. I can't even believe I just said that about Captain America. But it's basically the truth. They also have Hawkeye, Thor, Iron Man, the Hulk. Oh my god. There's way too many people on here. But basically comic book leggings. Again, more to wear in the car for travels and not to the park because they're leggings and I'd get very hot very quickly, but I couldn't not. Marvel leggings, you guys. I couldn't not. And now on to reviews from products that I hauled last week. First are the brushes from the Real Techniques Limited Edition Sculpting Kit. I can never remember if that, that's the right name, but I, I think it is. So I have been using the sculpting brush to pick up the product I use for contouring and put it right here under my cheekbones. And this brush is just amazing. Firstly, it's so soft, which I can say about all Real Techniques brushes, or at least all the ones that I've used, they're all so soft. So it's very soft, but this brush, the only problem I have with it is it's very dense, so it picks up a lot of product very quickly. Um, I only need to like tap this into my um, product. I don't have to like swirl it in there like I had to with the other brush I was using before I got this one. So this picks up a lot of product very quickly. So just make sure you're not putting way too much product in here. Otherwise you do what I do and you just get a stripe on your face and it's like, oh god, now what do I do? But when I do that, because I do it quite often, I just take the brush, continuing with it like angular, I guess, and I just wiggle it up and down to blend out the line, and I'll take whatever excess is on the brush and take it around my hairline and up onto my forehead just to, just to move product, hi Jess, just to move product around, blending it here and also blending it up and around the hairline. And I also take this right here under my jaw and it fits there perfectly. And again, I just kind of apply the product and then wiggle the brush to blend it out. And it fits perfectly right here under my jaw. It fits perfectly right under my cheek. It fits perfectly right up on my forehead. I don't have a huge forehead. So at first I was like, maybe this will be too big, but it's not. It fits perfectly right around here, around my forehead and my temples, and I love it. Next is the fan brush that I've been using to apply highlighter. I absolutely love this brush. Again, it is soft. 
um, I just kind of sweep it into my highlighter and sweep the product onto my cheekbones and it beautifully applies my highlighter to my cheekbones and it also does a great job at blending out the edges so it's not just a random streak of highlighter. It's also the perfect size to go right down the center of my nose and get my cupid's bow and I just... How was I highlighting without this brush? What was I doing? <laughs> and lastly is the setting brush. I've been using this with my um, MAC Blot Powder, which is what I use to set my makeup. I just tap it into my product. It doesn't kick up any of the product because um, some brushes that I've used with the blot powder before, it does kind of kick up the product. But this brush doesn't kick up any of the product and it's very soft, again, and it's the perfect size to get right up under my eyes, get down my nose, my chin, and right in the center of my forehead, which is where I set all of my makeup, um, especially since this T-zone area is where I get oily, and it's just perfect. It's just perfect. Again, what was I using before I found this brush? How, do, how, how did I live? And the last review is the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brightener Eye Treatment. Why, again, does this have so many words in the name? I don't understand. So I've been using this for about a week, give or take a few days, maybe a week and like two days. So far, I've really been liking this. I don't get dry or anything under my eyes, but I have definitely seen an improvement as to how makeup applies under my eyes. And I think this has really helped give my under eye area that hydration that I didn't realize it might have needed. Um, and just makeup just applies so much more smoothly and um, it doesn't seem to be settling um, under my eyes as much as it had been before I started using this product. So this has definitely helped and I've definitely seen a difference. The only thing I can't say is that it has lightened my dark circles. But that is because I don't have very, very, very dark circles. I get a little bit of darkness maybe around this area of my eyes, but it's not so dark, like it's not extremely purple or extremely blue there. So I can't say that this has lightened it, and even if it does over time, it's gonna take over time. It's not gonna happen in a week, I think. So I'll probably keep you posted on this, but so far I have been absolutely loving this. <laughs> and that's all I have for you guys today. Tune in next week for another haul. and. I don't know how I can review things from this haul since I only bought clothes. I was going to buy a makeup product, but let's not even go there. <laughs> let's, let's just not. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All the links to all my social media will be down in the description, so check me out there. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!